Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus 32, the golden calf chapter, and that's already happened. And uh, now Moses is trying to fix things as best he can. And we'll just zoom straight to 33. So if you want context, get the last few mornings, uh, read it in your Bible. Um, you should be reading all this in the Bible, you know. All these videos are as an accessory. You need to be in your word, in the Bible, and thinking and praying and shuffling, working there, finding out what God has for you directly yourself from the Bible. So if I could be a help here, I hope I am. Let's read verse 33. Uh, this is the Lord's response to Moses. Moses said yesterday morning, right, you know, please, please, we're gu totally guilty, but we, were, we, we want to be right. Please forgive your people, and if you can't forgive them, blot me out of the book that you've written with them. Okay, here's God's reaction, God's response. Verse 33, the Lord said to Moses, whoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. So basically, Moses gives two options. Option A, forgive the people. Option B, uh, if you're going to blot them out, then blot me out with them. God chooses not option A. God chooses not option B. God chooses option C. And what is option C? We just read it. Okay, option C was... Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. In other words, I'm not going to just blanket forgive. Uh, I'm going to forgive people based on what's true in their heart. I'm not going to blot them out and end them, uh, just say this is all over, because there's some repentance that's going to happen here. Some people are, are on my side. Some people have returned to me. And I'm not here to blot you out, Moses. Uh, you know, you're kind of, kind of an important guy on my team. So no, I don't want to do that. So God chooses plan C. So plan C is I'm going to look at the heart of every person. I'm going to judge accordingly. God is not fooled. Uh, he doesn't look at paper. You know, it's not like we can uh, say, oh, look, you know, look, hey, God, I've got a, uh, I've got an indulgence here. Here it is. Look, it's signed by Cardinal XYZ. Uh, so look, I'm, I'm okay. No, that's not the way God works. God looks, uh, God looks at the heart. God wants us to be walking with him. He wants us to have truth in the heart. Do you have truth in the heart? I want God's truth living in my heart. And so that's the plan. That's what we need. That's where God is taking us. And so you want to have truth in your heart. And God is looking. He, God looks, man looks at the outward God looks at the inward. God wants to see what's truly in your heart. What do you truly desire? And a lot of times I find there's things that I desire that I don't want to desire. And so then the plea, the prayer of my heart, back and forth between me and God, we try to keep the channel open. And uh, I plead with him all the time, Lord, please change my desires. I, I, have, I believe this is wrong thinking. I believe this is wrong desire. Please, Lord, change in my heart, change my heart and change those desires. And then I have to do things. I have to uh, not only be in prayer, I have to live out, act out my faith, being kind to others. Um, I need to often ask people to forgive me for errors that I've made toward them. I want to read the word and have God's word transforming me. So God is looking at the heart and he wants us to be uh, you know, lined up with his plan. And so he chooses plan C. No, I'm not going to just, just blanket, you know, just forgive everybody willy-nilly. I'm not going to just block them out willy-nilly. I am going to look at the heart. That's what he means when he says, you know, what he said in 33 here. Whoever has sinned against me, whoever has sinned against him and has not allowed him to change their heart, I will blot that person out of my book. So yes, sin is the end. The wages of sin, the ultimate final wages, death, eternal uh, end being ended, eternal endedness. <laughs> And so uh, God doesn't want that for us. We don't want that for us. And so let's let him transform our heart. And uh, that is what God is looking for. So God didn't take plan A or plan B. God takes plan C. Uh, Moses will not be blotted out for this business. And uh, we'll carry on tomorrow morning. And let's see what God does next in his ways with his people.